the record, I'm Diane, and today is Jul is August 20th, 2014. Here are your news updates for today. Yes, it's been a few days, but I wanted to sit back and watch what's going on before blurting out what's going on and, and not get it right. Alrighty then, I wanted to, to watch what's going on first. Let's first go to e, &E News, Energy News. Japan Fukushima. Tokyo Press Conference. Government is committing crimes against humanity. Fukushima children living in war zone and can't leave. Chil childhood cancer developing much faster than Chernobyl. Right now, 14 times higher. Parent, I am revealing the reality of what's going on. It's only way to get rid of the criminals. That was posted on August 19th. Also, August 19th. Experts. Plutonium and uranium flow into ocean from Fukushima. Heavily contaminated water is leaking out of plant. Melted fuel releasing hundreds of different radioactive materials. Officials refuse to investigate 90% of these. All right. What else we got going on here? The 18th. Nuclear expert. Fukushima feels suspected to be in ground. It's going to melt right down into the ground. When heat isn't removed, that's why they are so dangerous. That's why these are so dangerous. Physician, three of Fukushima's reactors melted through con containment. The crisis is clearly going on. All right, let's move on. Any e news, energy news. Canada and the U.S. Video today. Children of U.S. Navy sailors suffering from cancers after Fukushima exposure. I couldn't move. So much pain. I have leukemia. More kids with thyroid cancer. Father. We couldn't figure it out. His body was changing. Sailor. Right side of my body is shriveling up. One arm now almost five inches smaller than other. Ooh. Also, yes, uh, the 17th, CBC, we all thought we're doomed from Fukushima. It's going to spread across Pacific and there'll be no fish and the sea life will be dead. Professor, it's releasing radioisotopes directly into ocean as we speak and we can't predict when it will end. An ongoing disaster reactors not under control. All right, here's the next one. August 17th. Government. Radiation levels on U.S. coast spiked to over 1 million times normal after Fukushima explosions. 1 million times normal after Fukushima explosion. On the West Coast, it spiked that high. Were you informed of that? All right. TV, devastating mystery illness hits California. Horses, this is on the 15th. Nobody will even tell us what it is. Skin falling off, covered in painful lesions, eyes swollen shut, liver damaged, fainting. Expert, never seen anything like it in 40 year career. That tells me, did they test, did anyone test the food or the grass in the area or the water for radiation? I wonder. It's terrible. Sounds like the seals and the walruses and the animals up in Alaska. Okay. Okay. The watchers watching the world. Record-breaking rainfall causes deadly Hiroshima landslide in Japan. Barabunga, 
Volcano intense earthquake swarm continues in Iceland, and they did evacuate that area. All right, what else do we have? Professor Maino warns Nishino Shima collapse may generate a tsunami. Say so that's a volcano or something in Japan. Pacific Islands capital to be relocated due to coastal hazards and climate change. Heads up. Alrighty then. I was also privy to watching uh, Dabu77's channel. And he had on there. He had on there. Uh, I guess it aired yesterday. Or day before yesterday. It was live coverage of the President Obama speaking. And it was supposed to be live on uh on NBC, but then the conversation, the, the speech that he was giving was switching back and forth from about talking about Iraq and then talking about uh, Ferguson. And it was supposedly live feed on uh, NBC, proving what they showed was not live feed. I don't know what that means or where the president was, was at that time. But it was, I guess, a pre-recorded two different speeches, and they got merged together. Could that possibly be because, uh, wasn't it NBC, along with Al Jazeera, they ended up getting uh, shot at and, uh, with rubber bullets and, and uh, tear gas? Could that mistake have just been accidentally because of that incident? Heads up on that. I want you to think about that. Alrighty then. I guess that's what happens when you mess with the mainstream media. I guess somehow the, the report went out. The, spe the speech went out. It was supposedly live, but I guess somehow they showed it was pre-recorded. Alrighty then. That's just my opinion. That's what happens when you start firing on the uh, journal journalists. I guess whatever's going on, I guess they'll... They take their own action, maybe. <laughs> That's all I can say about that. I think my voice is Max. See, Max is agreeing with me. Are you agreeing, Max? Let's see if we can see him down there. There he is. There he is. He's upside down. Upside down, Doug. Are you are you hamming it up, Max? You hamming it up? Easy. Um, I guess I'm in his way. There, there he is. Now, now he's not saying nothing. Bless you, Max. You okay, Max? There's a cat in the window, and there's Max. He's that white blob. Max? Max, say hello. Hi, Tippy. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Alrighty then. Sorry I took, sorry I took so long. Let's see. I don't know. It's freezing now. Alright, on the screen. Alrighty then, I just wanted to wait and see what else is going on. And then, um, Tattoo1009 brought up a good point. And I want you to hear this. If I think, yeah, under the cover of darkness is wrong. If you're going to protest, protest during the day. Not under the cover of night. That way everyone can see what's going on. We can't see anything. All I see is journal journalists getting, you know, like bombarded with things why why doesn't everyone just protest so everyone can see the protest during the day that way you'll be safe at night and everyone can see what's going on that was a good point he made alrighty then alrighty take care be prepared for anything I want everyone to have supplies the Ebola is now also in uh, Sacramento being tested for who knows? It's at Kaiser. We don't know what's going on, but there's a scare over there. We don't know. Someone walked in and was around people, and then they, they're testing now for Ebola. My goodness. So some kind of scare in uh, Sacramento. Heads up. I just keep posting stuff as I see it on my uploads. Be safe. Be prepared for anything. That's all I have to say. Have your food, your water, everything. Just, it's time to store it now. Store it now. 
hygiene is very important but you might have to, if you have to quarantine yourself you want to quarantine at home you don't want to go to a camp and get cross contaminated with other stuff alrighty then and also make your kids know that that if someone's coughing try to see if they can move their seat if someone's sick next to them see if they can move their seat you know just a heads up, teachers should be aware of this and, and remove anyone who's sick sitting next to, you know, other children. All right? Be aware, teachers. You can catch it, too. All righty, then. If someone's sick, you might want to remove them to the nurse's office immediately. All righty, then. All right, everyone be prepared. And just we'll just keep watching. And those protesters out there, please. I see all kinds of races out there protesting now. So please be peaceful about it. Just protest. And uh, if you're protesting, do it during during the day. Don't give them overtime at night. They get good. They get overtime for that. Just do it in daylight, so cause that, uh, that way I can see what's going on. We can't see what's going on at the protest. Everybody's running around, and it's dark, and there's and there's like barely any light. And the lights that are are there, they're being moved around because the journalists are moving around. Alrighty then. See, well, there, there you go. There aren't going to be any journalists to do whatever. You see what I'm saying? See, they thought they had jobs. Oh wow. Oh, well, let's, you know, report on what you're supposed to be reporting on, I guess. You know, the real news. This is the real news here. Why don't you follow suit on that, you know, the real news. Let's try reporting the real news. Protect yourself. Journalists, if you just go out during the daytime, then the protesters will only be out there during the daytime. And then we can see everything that's going on. Especially with you guys. Alright? Take care. Even the journalists. Everyone be prepared for anything. Alrighty then. Take care. I'll see you again tomorrow on the flip side. Please be safe, all of you.